vlog, Vegan Noodle and the Slicinator. I'm your host, Allison. And I'm the Slicinator. This is our very first vlog ever. We're really excited to start showing off some of our favorite vegan recipes, as well as some of the recipes we've made ourselves. Vegans do not eat any animal products. No meat, chicken, fish, milk, cheese, butter, eggs, honey, or bacon. Today we'll be making a delicious vegan version of fettuccine alfredo. The recipe we are using is based on a recipe by the Comforting Vegan blog and we made just a few tweaks for our personal preference. It was inspired by the Olive Garden fettuccine alfredo and I give this recipe 5 transistors up. So even though this recipe is vegan, it's no way at all considered healthy. Um, the recipe is made for like a romantic special occasion or times when you really just need comfort food. Anyway, if you make this recipe, you have to promise us that it will run about 5 miles. So before we get to cooking, we're going to show you some tools you'll need to make this. You will need a large pot, a large skillet, we don't really have one, but the, we'll, whatever that is, we'll do, <laughs> a stirring spoon, a slicenator, those unfortunate enough to have a slicenator, a sharp knife will work just fine, a cutting board, a can opener, a strainer, and some measuring cups and spoons. Now we'll show you the different ingredients you need to make fettuccine alfredo. One regular box of fettuccine noodles, just check to make sure they don't have any eggs in them. Um, a 13.5 ounce can of full fat coconut milk. You really want the full fat to make it really creamy and try to get one with no coconut extract. Half a cup of vegan butter. We're using our homemade vegan butter, or you can use something like Earth Balance, which is available at many different stores. Three tablespoons of vegan Parmesan cheese. Um, we got this at a local natural food store, but I think there are some other kind at Whole Foods. One cup of mozzarella day cheese. This is the best vegan cheese out there that we've tried, and we got this at Safeway. Two tablespoons of vegan cream cheese. We're using the brand by Trader Joe's and there's many other kinds available at different stores. Um, one teaspoon of garlic powder. And then just salt, pepper to taste. And to top it off, put some either fresh or dried parsley flakes. Slicenator loves garlic, so we have added fresh garlic as well. The first step is to start boiling water in your large pot to prepare to cook the fettuccine noodles. Add a little bit of salt to your water. Next, you want to mince your three cloves of garlic. Slicenator, would you like to help me with this? Yes, initiating slicing sequence. Great slicing, Slicenator! Add half cup of vegan butter to large skillet and turn the heat up to medium low. Once butter is melted, add in minced garlic and stir it around a bit. Once the garlic is soft and the room smells heavenly of cooked garlic, stir in the coconut milk. And then bring up the heat to medium high. Stir around the coconut milk mixture until it gets warm. And once it's warm, add in one cup of daya cheese. And stir that in there. Add one teaspoon of garlic powder and salt and pepper to taste. Add in two tablespoons of vegan cream cheese. Once everything is well combined and melted, turn the heat off and set aside until the noodles are ready. 
Once water is boiling, add in fettuccine noodles. Stir the fettuccine noodles so they don't stick together and you want to cook them until they're around al dente which means they're just, just slightly firm. Now the noodles are done, strain them in the sink. Add the noodles to the coconut milk mixture and turn the heat up to low to warm the sauce. Stir the pasta around in the sauce to fully incorporate the sauce and the noodles. Plate the pasta and sprinkle some parsley over the top and then it's done! Time to eat! Thank you for watching. Stay tuned for more vlogs by Vegan Noodliness and the Slicinator.